Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So in today's tutorial we will explore how we can use the concept of function overloading to overload a class sorry overload a function by the name of volume. So let us take a look at the program in this uh, program over here. So it says write a class with the name volume using function overloading which can compute the volume of a cube, a sphere and a cuboid. So I'm sure you are familiar with cubes, uh, spheres and cuboids. These are basic shapes and uh, I am sure you must have read about them in your main solution classes uh, in your school, back in your school days. So it says that the formula of a cube is uh, S multiplied by S multiplied by S and I think they are referring to the sides of the cube uh, because a cube has uh, sides of same dimension so the volume will obviously be length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height and if we assume the side to be s so the volume of the cube will be s cube the volume of the sphere will be 4 by 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by r multiplied by r multi multiplied by r that is r cube and cuboids volume will be length breadth and height multi multiplication of length and breadth and height so let us write the code for this program I've already cre created uh, a class by the name of volume in Eclipse IDE. So, just a second. Okay, so now let us write the code for this program first. So, first of all, I'll have to. Here you can see that I'll be using three overloaded functions by the name of volume so obviously I'll have to declare uh, the variables that I'll be using to compute the volumes those have to be declared as global variables so that the scope of those variables is confined to the entire class not just to the program not just to any particular function sorry so VC is for cube this one is for sphere and VCD that is for the cuboid so I have declared these three so first of all I will create the function called volume mm, and I will keep a parameter by the name of s alright so the volume of the cube shall be uh, sorry Yeah, the volume of the cube shall be Vc equals to S multiplied by S as per our, as per the formula. It should be S into S into S, that is S cube. And now I will simply print the volume. You can see that the return type of volume function is void because we are not going to be returning any values to the main function. So here I will write system.out or println the volume of the cube is vc okay now let us move on to the next function so it shall be uh, let me take a look at this file now it was for the sphere so void volume so here I'll have to uh, in case of sphere there is the formula is 4 by 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by r cube so the radius of, of the mm, so the radius of this so here the only parameter that is required to calculate the volume will be the radius but the problem is we already have one function with int s so here if I write int r in the function signature then it will result in a problem because there is already another function by the name of volume with uh, one integer as the parameter so it says here you can see that duplicate method so here instead of uh, uh, instead of keeping r as an integer type I'll change it to float okay because we, ca we will need to create unique uh, unique volume functions not same function so here I'll type vs equals 
4 by 3 multiplied by 22 by 7 multiplied by R uh, multiplied by R into R into R alright so after that I will simply I'll simply print the output system dot out dot println the volume of the sphere is plus Vs obviously next the only thing is left that is left is that of the cuboid so void volume so here you will need we will be needing three variables intel for the length in B for the breadth I think yeah and int H for height so now let us calculate the volume of the cuboid VCD equals L multiplied by B multiplied by H and as usual I will be printing it over here let me just copy and paste this now we already have the main function at the bottom so what I will do is I'll uh, create an object of this class and uh, then I'll have to invoke the functions but before I do that I'll have to int s l b h these are the values that will be accepting from the user and float radius system dot out println enter the side of and uh, before we do that we will have to declare an object of the scanner class so let me write here import java dot util dot star alright mm enter the side of the mm, what does it say here cube s equals scanner s equals to new scanner there is also another technique of taking the input that is by using buffered reader but here for our convenience we will be using scanner class and s equals next int similarly enter the radius of our sphere next next it should be double oh, I have taken it as float so it should be yeah, the parameter was float and now now to take the dimensions of our cube so L equals is C dot next sorry it should be next int
so now what we will do is <coughs> we will create an object of this class I think sorry the class name was volume So first of all I'll have to summon the function for calculating the volume of volume of the cube next for the for this one it has automatically inserted the value that's a great thing and this function is for calculating the volume of the cuboid L, B and H alright so now it's done so just something that I need to check over here okay so now let us save the program and run it sides uh, let me take it as 5 radius of the sphere 6 lbh of the cuboid 3 4 5 alright so, so we are getting the results so uh, the program is working properly so there is no problem so this is the way uh, by which we can overload a function called volume in order to calculate the areas of totally uh, three different figures so um, this concludes this tutorial just go through the code and if you find at any stage if you face any kind of difficulties with this code or if you are unable to grasp the concept of overloading just uh, put your uh, queries in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay. Alright. Have a nice day and thank you.